Give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Habakakwadash. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly called God in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of great millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world and to the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you I say shalom. E is powerless without his sword. E is Esau. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. He is powerless without his sword. And that sword is going to be taken from him real soon. Okay, but, but you know, our people, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you have to understand that. This devil is, is powerless, meaning without power. That's the only way he's able to rule, pretty much rule the world, conquer these nations. Okay, have these nations for so long in fear because of the sword, because of the military, because of the, uh, of course, the military is, is the main one. All right. But, you know, uh, um, through uh, uh, their wicked policies, that's a part of their sword. The wicked laws they make, that's a part of their sword. All right. And really, those are really to oppress our people here, mainly in America. Okay. But but those are all part of his sword. Okay. Which is which is the how he rules. That's the only way he knows how to rule is through his sword. And that was the blessing that Isaac had given him. Okay. And, and that's all he knows how to do. And, and you got to give it to Esau. You know, and he knows how to work that sword. He knows he's a master with that motherfucker, you know, excuse my language, but he is okay. But, and our people have to realize you Israelites have to understand that that's not our blessing. We can't fight fire with fire. We can't fight. This. We can't beat this. We cannot beat this devil at their own game, all right? When we, when niggas want to stoop down to Esau's level, he wants you to come into that arena because that's that's how he that's how he get that's how he gets down, all right? He can't he, he's undefeated, okay? Until Yahweh Shai comes and takes him out with that sword, okay? But without that sword, he's nothing, all right? He's already base, but without that sword, he's like you know he, he's really low, okay? So let me um let me pull up the blessing. Because this was the blessing that Esau received, all right? Esau was surplanted by his brother Jacob. Okay, it says Jacob's deception. Jacob didn't deceive anyone. Yeah, he might have deceived Isaac, but it was already written, okay, that for, for, for Jacob to receive the blessing. And, you know, in, in fact, Esau despised the blessing. He despised his birthright. The birthright represented the uh, which, which the eldest um, son was supposed to get. But this birthright was was different than any other birthright because this birthright represented the kingdom of heaven, okay? Represented uh, everlasting rulership, everlasting dominion, which you're, we're going to receive in the kingdom of heaven once our Lord Yahweh Shai comes back and, and takes his devil out of his place, okay? Puts his devil back down in, in a low position where he belongs, okay? But let me jump down to the 30, 38th verse when it speaks on the blessing. And Esau said unto his father, has thou but one blessing, my father, bless me, even me also, O oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. So Jacob had supplanted Esau for the blessing. Okay, but it was, like I said, it was already in the spirit, all right? And Esau despised his blessing, okay? And even in Hebrews, the uh, the 12th chapter and the 16th verse, it says, Has there any, is there any uh, profane person but Esau that uh, for one morsel of meat sold his birthright? Okay. Esau is profane. He's outside the temple. All right. So let me get back to the verse. Uh, verse 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Meaning Esau would have dominion. He would have a time to rule. Okay. He, he would have all the resources of the earth to rule. All right. He, it was, it's nothing that he wouldn't have for his for his time of rulership, for his time of his, uh, uh, yeah, for his time of rulership to, to, to have. He would possess everything. Okay, but that that's that wasn't forever. Okay, and by the sword thou shalt live, and thou shalt serve thy brother. That's the point. The sword is how this devil gets down. That's how he lives. Okay, of course he's deceiving. He uh, uh, uses his witchcraft and all kind of you know sorcery. But what he knows best is the sword. All right, and all those kind of go in with the sword. But the sword is that is that this main power. Okay, that that's the, that's what he that's what he knows best. How to use that sword. And the sword is any kind of killing instrument, okay? And like I said, it, it can go from uh, also, um, 
not not um not limited to but uh, ex uh, uh you know the gun or something killing this man but but his laws his judicial system that's all a part of the sword anything to really destroy and kill you jakes all right because that's that's this ever since esau was supplanted for the uh blessing that has been his agenda let me go down well shit is right here um and esau hated jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him and esau said in his heart the days of mourning for my father are at hand then will i slay my brother jacob and that's this that's this devil has been on a mission to do okay not just conquer the world he wants to kill his brother jacob he wants to he really, in these days, we know when this devil's trying to establish his new world, new world order, he's trying to get the blessing back. But he, he he's not going to get it, okay? That, that blessing is long gone, okay? Um, let me get this in Malachi, uh, back up the point of Esau being the wicked, Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them them the border of wickedness and the people in whom the lord have indignation forever that's the edomites okay esau and all his dukes all right they, they, they're the wicked they're the wicked that the bible speaks of okay and the only way the wicked is able to continue in their wicked ways is because they live by the sword all right that that's all they know that's that that's their power all right their their power is not yahweh their power is not faith Okay, they're not power is, isn't in, uh, uh, you know, having faith in the Lord. Okay, hey, and our people have to realize that's the, the sword is not our blessing. Our blessing is faith and, and dependent on the Lord to fight for us. The Lord is going to fight our battles. The Lord says, avenge not yourselves. Okay, the Lord says, um, let me grab this real quick. Uh, re recompense not evil with evil. Uh, this is Proverbs 22 and... Um, Where is it? Is it 22? Um, maybe it's 20. Let me see real quick. Here it is. Uh, Proverbs 20 and 22. Say not thou, I will recompense evil, but wait on the Lord and he shall save thee. We got to wait on the Lord. Okay. Esau don't got faith. All right. Their faith is in their sword. Okay. And, 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 when you Jakes want to, you know, um, when you Jakes want to, uh, you know, you want to take matters into your own hands, that's what this devil wants you to do because you can't win that battle. Okay, yeah, you may take, you may take out a few Edomites. You say you take 10 Edomites out. All right, it's going to be 100 Edomites at your door ready to take your ass out and your family. All right, that's so how Esau gets down. Esau don't play fair. Okay, that's why, that's why you Jakes got to put down them guns and, and all that shit. That is not going to save you. All right, the, the Lord is the one that's going to save us. The Lord is the one that's going to deliver us from the from the uh, from our enemy's hands. Okay, but back to the point, man. He, the Lord gave Esau the blessing. All right, the 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 the, the, the sword. Excuse me, the um, the um, Esau is the sword is the is the sword of the, the sword of the Lord. Okay. This is um, Psalm 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Okay, so when when, 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 when these devils is rolling down on you niggas, that's the Lord ultimately doing it. Okay? Because the Lord is in ultimate control. That's what Jake don't realize. The, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, put this devil in his disposition for have him, for, and had him rule like this for his will. Okay, that's what that's what that's what our people don't. That's what our people have a hard time, you know, uh, uh, grasping. Like the the Lord is the one that put this devil in power, power and rulership, and had him rule the way he he's done. Okay, this is Daniel chapter four and verse um, seventeen. It says, "This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand of the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth." In the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever he will, and setteth over it the basis of man. The basis of man is ruling right now. You're seeing the rulership of the basis of man. Okay, the the east, the Edomites, they're ruling. They're they're the lowest of the low. If you can see the the, the these these so-called these wicked elite families that are ruling the world, 
Okay, you would laugh. You would laugh like these people are ruling over us. These these these, these cripple ass Edomites. These these devils. These you know. You will, but 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 they, hey, the Lord is dealing with them on the left hand right now, all right, and and, and they're continuing to rule with that sword. That's how they're able to rule, of course, through wickedness, of course, through witchcraft. But that sword is the main reason they're able to rule. The main reason they were able to conquer nations and take out nations and bomb people, intimidate the nations with their, you know, they can they used to get used to intimidate these nations, but these nations have, you know, uh, uh, are, are are standing up against this devil now. But that's how they've been able to rule. Think about how they've been, thinking how they, they were able to conquer Jake, all right, the Native Americans. They came over here and slaughtered them, all right, uh, uh, colonized and slaughtered, you know, a lot of the uh, Northern Kingdom also, okay, and not to mention slavery, all right. But, hey, we're a great nation, all right. We, we're, we're, the, we're, we're the strongest. We, we're, we're the best of everything. But, hey, this devil, he, the most I was dealing with this devil on the left hand, all right, and he was able to conquer us through, through his sword. All right, because if you know the history, Gad, all right, the so-called Native Americans, they were fucking Esau up until they got that Gatling gun, okay, and, and, and until they used, uh, um, what was it, they put smallpox on blankets and, and killed the buffalo, and they used all type of tactics, okay, using the sword to, to, to destroy our people, okay? Um, I want to grab this in Revelation, the sixth chapter. Uh, about that red horse that took uh, uh um that took that evil from the world or or uh, excuse me took um took peace from the world excuse me uh this is uh revelation six and four and there went out another horse that was red and power power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth power was given unto who gave who gave the power to the red horse the heavenly father okay the the heavenly father gave this devil power to take peace from the earth but because it was his will. He does what the hell he wants to do, all right? And, and it was for good reason to teach us a lesson, for he could be, he could uh, uh, whoop our ass, had this devil whoop our ass for, for us going off against the Heavenly Father by worshiping other gods, first and foremost, calling on these deities and just doing this wickedness, okay? That's why a lot of these niggas is getting jacked up out here by these wicked-ass Edomite police, because you niggas is wicked, okay? You niggas don't want to repent. You niggas don't want to turn your life around for for. Uh, for the Lord's sake, all right, you'll turn it around for some bullshit, but not uh, um, to um, not to turn to the Lord, not to repent from your wickedness. That's why the Lord is about to let this devil for one last time get get off his shit on you, Jakes, man. All right, I'll read the verse again. And then went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword, all right? That goes back to the sword. This is Esau, the red horse, okay? Esau, Edom. Edom is red, all right? I, I, what is it? Uh, Adawan, okay? Ishashua, Esau. Not, it's not Adawan, not Adawan, but it's it. I, I, it's not Adama, damn, what's the word? Let me see, let me look it up. Um. This is wrong. Strong's H-123. Edom. Edom. Okay, back to the... Um, but this devil was... He was given power. He was given a dominion. All right? He, he was... He was set up to rule. He, you know, to... Um, to rule with the sword. Okay? But he's powerless without that sword. Without that sword, he's nothing but... Uh, 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 he's, he's nothing. All right. Let me grab the, um, let me grab, uh, Ezekiel 28. Show you that Esau is just a man. This is Ezekiel 28 and one. The word of the Lord came on, came again unto me saying, son of man, say to the prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord power because thine heart is lifted up and thou has said, I am a God. I am a power. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas Yet thou art a man and not a God, not a power, though thou set thy heart in the heart of the Most High. That's how this devil views himself, okay? He, 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 
he's conquered so much and, and shed so much blood and, and taken so much life and, and killed and slaughtered so many people. He thinks he could, he's, he's the most high. He's so puffed up with pride. You know, he can, he, he has the power to take life, uh, take a life away and give life. Okay. That, that's how, that's how pride, pride, prideful this devil has become. Okay. But he's not a, he's not a power. All right. He's just a man put in a position to fulfill prophecy. Okay. And, and then he's going to be taken out of the way. Then Yahweh Shai is going to come with the host of heaven, the angels with the chariots. All right. Take Esau, take Esau out. All right. It, it, it's beautiful because it, it, Isaac, which was Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation, gave him, blessed him with the sword. All right. And it's ironic, not ironic, but it's the spirit that Yahweh Shai, all right, which was Isaac in the reincarnation, is going to take that sword away from Esau and put him put him down. Okay. In the midst, uh, so like your verse uh, back in the, uh, the Ezekiel 28 and 3, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee with thy wisdom and with thy understanding. Thou hast gotten thee riches and has gotten gold and silver into thy treasures by thy by thy great wisdom and by thy trafficking has thou increased thy riches and thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches all right but he was Esau was able to obtain all these riches with you know uh uh, uh through the sword okay through, that's that's and, and Jake don't realize man how powerful Esau is with the sword they got all kind of shit out there now they got a uh, microwave guns. They have uh, uh, their medicine. Okay, is a, you know is, is a part of that sword now. They got Esau got so many levels of the sword now. It, it's ridiculous that we know that you know fighting this devil fire with fire. We can we don't stand a chance without the heavenly Father. We don't stand a chance uh, against this devil without without the Lord. All right, without the Lord lifting up a standard. Without the Lord, uh, uh, um, you know, providing for us and and and. and you know, um, uh, 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 um, you know, delivering us with a, a miraculous deliverance, okay? With, with the divine intervention. The, this, they said it's going to get so bad in Daniel 12 and 1 that uh, Michael the archangel was have to, going to have to stand up for the elect in that day, okay? Um, let me grab this. Uh, Psalm 75 and uh, 6. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. But the Most High is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. The Heavenly Father, that's ultimate control. He gave the devil the sword. He's going to put him down and he's going to set up the kingdom of heaven. All right. With Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12, the elect, okay, the, the governing body. All right. And, 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 and the two thirds that are going to come back in the kingdom in their right mind. All right, that that that's the Lord is 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 setting up is setting up Yasharala, okay. But he has to take down Esau first, and and you're gonna see this devil when this devil is that that sword is taken from Esau. All right, we're gonna be like the nations on um what is this uh Isaiah 15 Isaiah Isaiah 14 is this the man that made nations tremble? This is the man, okay. This is uh Isaiah 14 and um. Uh, yeah, I'll start at uh, this is talking about Esau taken out being taken out uh, this is Isaiah 14 and 5 I just read all the way down the Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers alright the staff represents his power he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth all right, this is Esau. He ruled the nations in anger and, and through the sword. All right, the whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth in singing. This is when, when Esau is finally taken out, the whole earth is going to rejoice. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, the cedars of Lebanon, saying, since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against thee. All right, even the trees are going to rejoice. Nature is going to rejoice once Esau is taken out of, of place. Hell, hell, hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming it stirreth up the dead for thee even all the chief ones of the earth it is raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations all they speak saying 
unto thee. Art thou become weak as thee? The, the, the nations are going to be looking at Esau like, damn, you, you, you fell off. All right. Well, why did how did Esau fall off? Fought, fought, fall off? Because he ain't got that sword no more. Okay. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of the vials and the worms is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. The worms represent de decomposition. De decomposition. Okay. Uh, uh, um. You know, is uh, you know, like you know, a uh, de uh, like a body decomposes. That that's that's you know that's Esau. Okay, thou art fallen down from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down from the ground, which didst weaken the nations? Then Lucifer represents light bearer, all right? And they're the light bearers right now on the left hand. Okay, because they they they, they you know they they bear the uh the left hand wisdom, which is you know, which is based in wickedness. Okay. And and um but they they're gonna be brought down. Okay, it says which did weakest the nations. And the main part of this this devil weakening the nations was through this sword. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the Most High. That's how this devil, that's, that's how, how this devil really thinks. Okay, not these low life Edomites. I'm talking about the elites. They, they believe and think in their heart that they're gods that they're that they're they're higher than the most high okay yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit and, and hell represents the grave okay um they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did shake kingdoms that that's how the world that's how all of us are going to be looking at Esau. Is this the man that had this this great military, had all these ICBM missiles, had this, had that, that that had this indestructible military? Yes, that's how this that, that's that's this devil, okay? That made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof. That opened not the house of his prisoners. That's Esau, okay? To to a T. But Esau is going to be taken out of his power seat soon, you know, hopefully sooner than later, okay? So um, that's all I really wanted to, you know, uh, you know, hit these few points on this, uh, you know, this lesson. So Lord willing, um, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Yahweh Kakwadash. Until next time, I say uh, Shalom.